beauty of doing object-oriented programming is that you can reuse your code. And so now that we've finished creating uh, our blue car, our blue Mini Cooper, and we'll just title that, we can duplicate this. But when we duplicate it, it's careful because it's very easy to run into copying and pasting errors. And I'm just going to, for simplicity, I'm going to import a completely different costume. We're going to go with the VW bug and I'll delete that. And so now this new sprite we're going to call green car. And you'll notice when I run the script, both cars appear to be in different places. But when they teleport back to our starting location on this edge right here, they're both going to the same place. And the reason for that is that they both were told to go to this same XY location when we copied and pasted. And really what we want the VW bug to be doing is we want the VW bug to be in the fast lane. Okay. And so what we do is we back it up, put it right where we want it to. So it's not quite touching the rear edge again, because we're sort of cheating and double click. So it goes whoop, whoop, whoop. And now this is the number that we want to put into our go to XY. So there's a couple of different things. You can just type that in if you feel like it, or if you don't feel like it, you can just drag the new one in and throw the old one away. Now, this is also the passing lane. So you might want to change your speeds. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down my blue car. So I'm going to keep my green car at three so it doesn't go faster than the frog. And I'm going to slow down my blue car so it's now in the slow lane. And when I click the green flag, you'll see they do go at different speeds. But now they're teleporting to the right lane. The next question is, how do I get the vehicles to go in the other direction in the other lanes? See if you can figure that one out before the next video.